Hey guys, how's it going? Um, water change day in the 65. Um, Africans create a lot of poop. So anyways, um, I've taken a bunch of water out. I got rid of all the uh, really gross poop water and I filled four more buckets up here. So what I'm gonna do is pull the sponge filter out and just show you guys a little bit of the magic that they actually do create for those that are a little bit skeptical about well, what a sponge filter is, how do you clean it? Pretty simple. Just reach in, pull the bottom off, it's that a little bit bucket, get some of the crap off of there, pull the sponge filter out, put it in a bucket of the water here that's from the fish tanks and remove this as you can see and it's been about six weeks since I've done this one but as you can see that water was yellow and is now pretty awesome look at that so we do that and then we'll take it again another bucket of clean water and it is turning it brown perfect let's try it again see how much more crap we're going to get out of here Super cheap, bacteria grows on the sponge filter which helps keep everything in the tank in balance. Coming pretty clean, fourth bucket. It's pretty clean, that's all there is to it. Put it back up here. Fix camera, make sure the camera doesn't fall in the buckets. Don't want that to happen. Grab, put it back up here. Stick the sponge back on. Squeeze it a little bit. Pop the bottom back on. You're good to go. Don't let the sponges sit out. That bacteria that you've been growing on those sponges will then then die. So basically, that's all there is to sponge filters. Um, one of the most invaluable, cheap filtration methods. Simple. Just run it with an air pump, small air pump. They don't take much. Super easy. Thanks for watching, guys.